The Source engine has been used to make a lot of interesting games out there. Obviously we know the later Half-Life games, and there's Gary's Mod and more. But today I want to talk about Double Action Boogaloo, a game that I remember playing back in 2015. It is a free-to-play game on Steam. Developed and published by Double Action Factory, it was released in 2014, and it can be found on PC through the Windows and Linux operating system. Basically this is a multiplayer game where you do diving, flipping, sliding, and of course shooting others with a variety of weapons in almost an action movie style. Style. Basically, you're going around doing flippy bullshit, and it's a good thing. Not like some of these wrestlers in modern day doing flippy bullshit because they think it's cool. The weapons range from a 9mm pistol, 45 caliber pistol, 9mm submachine gun, 45 caliber submachine gun, combat shotgun, fully automatic rifle, a burst fire rifle, your own fists so you can punch the fuck out of people, and of course a grenade. At times you can dual wield the pistol, and there are skills like marksman, athlete, bouncer, reflexes, and nitrophiliac. That's kind of like a necrophiliac, but using nitrous. I don't know. That's just goofy shit that I came up with. These are specialized traits to make you very stylish. Basically, it kind of reminds me of a battle royale style, but of course some differences. Basically, this was before Fortnite or any of the motherfuckers were even thought of. They were like a fucking load laying in a hooker's cunt and maybe slopped out onto the fucking mattress. There are objectives like surviving checkpoints, capture briefcase full of money, and of course hunt down wanted criminals, which is pretty cool. You can also slow things down with a bullet time aspect so you can really go for those kills plus you get points for killing enemies and doing stunts and as you can see the game uses a third person view rather than a first person view and it kind of gives me that max Payne vibes in a way The graphics for Double Action Boogaloo are pretty damn good for its time. Very nice environments, very action-packed, the characters look nice. The game does kind of glitch here and there, but nothing real major or anything like that. The game is colorful. The theme of the maps are really nice. Overall, nothing really bad here. I can look past a few glitches here and there, and, and of course you're going to get some lagging here and there, especially if you're connected with a player that ain't worth a shit when it comes to their internet connection. The music in the game, well, there is music in the title screen, has what I would call something you would hear in a cheesy action film, which fits the theme of this type of game. I like it, nothing real mind-blowing, but it is great. When it comes to the music during gameplay, there is none. It's just sound effects of gunfire, explosions, and death, which is fine by me, and the sound effects are really badass. When it comes to how active this game is, a lot of free-to-play games on Steam don't last very long, but with this game being eight years old, there is a handful of servers that are still active. It all depends on the time of the day you connect and so on, but it's nice to see people still playing this game. Now let's talk about the controls. Well, you can use a controller, but I'm using a keyboard, and of course the typical WSAD keys to move, mouse to shoot, dive, and all that type of shit. It could maybe use some work here and there, but for the most part, it's very much playable, and I like the layout, even if I do fuck up and die a lot. Double Action Boogaloo is fucking fun, and I enjoy it a lot. Sure, it has some slight issues here and there, but the gameplay is fun, very action-packed, great graphics for its time, great music at the title screen, really good sound effects, and the controls for the most part are fine. Like I mentioned, there is some slight issues, but nothing that ruins the experience. Why it took me so long to review this game is beyond me. I'm glad I finally did, and if you want to play this game for yourself, download Steam if you don't have it, and install it. Like I said at the beginning, the damn game is free to play, so no excuse to give it a try. As for the developers, this is the only game they made. Basically, it was a team of modders, but it would be damn cool if they did a sequel of some sort, keep it similar, maybe add some new weapons, some new things here and there, and so on. That would be badass. Well, that is it for this review of Double Action Boogaloo. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.